name is Samir Obathi and I'm 10 years old and I've been at the Brooklyn Music School since I was five years old. I've always been interested in guitar since I was little. First, my mom, she inspired me by showing me the Lenny Kravitz video and I just wished I could play like that. brought me a plastic guitar, no strings, it was plastic, so I, every time I heard like a guitar song, I would grab my guitar and start playing. She saw that I really needed to be in a music school where I could learn actually how to play and how to sing. Mr. Alex, my guitar teacher, first he showed me with my fingers how to play from skip to my loo to like crazy train. After each form, when we gathered our friends, wanted to form a rock band together, so we just stormed with each other and committed to what we were doing, what we wanted to do. My friends helped me grow, the counselors, the classes. I'm not known worldwide, but I want that to happen, and I'm making that happen by working hard and putting my all into playing guitar and, and doing my best. So yeah. if you just watched that video and thought to yourself, you know, yeah, nobody in my organization knows how to produce something like that, okay, you're at the right place, don't turn the dial, mm -hmm. all right? Bricks Media Share program is all about teaching a man to fish, so to speak. Or a woman. Any, or a woman, you're right. Mm -hmm. Any Brooklyn-based or Brooklyn-affiliated <laughs> nonprofit organization can learn how to create and use media to help make people aware of what they have to offer. Mm -hmm. And with us now is one of those teachers, Sean Senevirotny, the filmmaker and media share mentor who worked with Brooklyn Music School to create the video we just saw. Welcome to BK Live, Thanks Sean. For having me. And here from the school is its assistant director of arts reaching youth, Juvenal Santiago. Thank you for having us. Thank you so Thank much you. for joining us. Juvenal, get us started. Tell us sure. how that video came about for you guys. Ooh. Well, we wanted and to... When does Samir's album drop it? <laughs> <laughs> Next year, I think later, later this year. Uh, <laughs> well, we uh, discussed uh, just creating a, a, a connection between like the students and um, it's, I guess to the, to the community and showing uh, what the students do every day, rehearse and practice and stuff, and not a lot of people see it. They just see the performances and stuff, and the kids put a lot of work. They put a, a whole lot of work. And it's cool to see the, the, the amount of um, practice, what the learning, they start just learning chords and stuff, mm -hmm. and now they're playing Crazy Train. In a band. In a band together. Yeah, how how band. did this sort of come about? How did you get involved with the with the media share, with Brick Media Share? How did well, you find out about it? I found out from my, uh, my executive director, Bruce Bartow. Um, hey, Bruce. And, <laughs> hey, Bruce. Um, <laughs> yeah, and he, he mentioned, it was like, there's this great program at Brick, and it's, it's a gr wonderful opportunity to, to learn how to Film, pr produce uh, pieces, edit, um, learning how to use cameras, uh, what to shoot, um, yeah, and just, just 
Fantastic. It was so Sean it's then like here comes <laughs> you, da, da, right? Da, da, da. And they're like, well, we just want to show everyone all the stuff we do, and then you take it away. Yeah, so um, when uh, Julie uh, Sturm and Rose uh, uh, who run the Media Share program presented the organizations to us. I saw Brooklyn Music School and I was like, oh, I want to work with yes. Brooklyn Music School. Uh, growing up, you know, I'm obsessed with music. I grew up playing bands, not as early as these kids did. <laughs> so I was like, oh, this is like really important to me and I do think music's really, really important. And um, it just seemed like a really cool organization where like my artistic sensibilities and what this organization is all about could really uh, connect in a really meaningful way. So once we met, um, we were pretty much on the same page of like, all right, this should feel like pretty cool, but it should also give us the story of like this kid. You know, we should see the mm -hmm. process, we should see yeah. everything that leads up to a performance, but not the performance, uh -huh. and um, mm -hmm. really get a sense of like everyone's story, right? And I think it's so interesting to hear that, like, you know. His mom introduced him to Lenny Kravitz and Michael Jackson, and he played a plastic guitar. And then yeah. his mom was like, you should play the real guitar. And now he's like learning how to sing and dance and do everything. It's, it's incredible. Okay, yeah. That's amazing. You, you have to tell me, though, but what's the sort of inclination of working with nonprofits? Well, nonprofits are doing all the good work that more companies should be doing. What? Did you say that one more time? <laughs> nonprofits are doing all the good work that mm -hmm. more companies and organizations mm -hmm. out there should be doing. We didn't pay him to say that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but I truly believe that, like, since graduating work. college, like, everything I've done work-wise has been with nonprofits because I can align myself with the mission and it feels like what you're doing is contributing to something that's benefiting society. And I think yeah. music is really, really important and giving access to music uh, to children that might not have access otherwise, because they might not have that program in their school, or they might not have um, access to rock instruments or amplifiers and things like that, to have a place to go and practice and learn their craft. And that's one of our goals, to make music, dance, and theater accessible to Brooklyn and the community. Right, so. and now you can tell everyone that, right? Because the deal is, you work with them on this project, but now, theoretically, Juvenile, you guys should know yeah. <laughs> how to do all this stuff yes. now, right? Definitely, of course. Um, <laughs> we've been working on uh, two, three other pieces outside of the Meteor Share program, and now I've taken charge. We're using everything I've mm -hmm. learned. Mm -hmm. Okay, I, everything I've learned from Sean <laughs> and shadowing Sean and everything. No, but it's been really helpful. This has it's been like the, yeah, such a great um, partnership. Um, yeah, now I know, like, oh, I, I need to focus on this student for, like, okay, like, 10 seconds, okay, good, I got the shot, oh, let me focus on this student, and then afterwards, when I have all the shots, I, I go to my office, set up my computer, put everything in, okay, edit, edit, premiere, uh, Okay, so what do you say to other nonprofit organizations that are not familiar with BRIC, are not familiar with the BRIC Media Share program, you know, would you say it's been a successful been partnership? A, or? Yes, so most definitely. It's like it's yeah, of course, of course. <laughs> and even if you're, no, should, should uh, <laughs> <laughs> and even if you're not sure about it, just apply. You, you never know. It, it's it's a, a fantastic opportunity that we've had. Um, and now we know as an organization, uh, organization, how to market our our mes uh, message and our mission um, through social media and like. Putting our so you see a clear YouTube. difference between you know the outreach that your the organization was doing before mm -hmm. and what through this program what now. you're able to yeah. do now it's and prepare to move stuff. to the future. Yeah. Oh. And at first you see you you'll be like oh it might be oh, I got to take these classes and all that stuff but the the teachers are fantastic the mentors are fantastic you learn a lot of stuff and it's very useful. To have, Are we sure like, we're not paying him to say that? I'm, not, this is, this is, I, I'm, I'm speaking the truth. It, it's, well, but it's, it's also getting to another fact. A lot of times, okay, we're, we're right here. Okay, you have to come to, to Brick. Mm -hmm. Not only watch the show, right, or watch the station, but you, the viewer, you have to come physically here to Brick to see yeah. all the amazing work that is going on within these walls, right? Yep. I mean, Definitely. no matter what the organization is, we are here to, to help you, so. Yeah. Remind us, Sean, what some of these classes are that you take with, with the programs that you mentor. Uh, so, some of the classes that we'll do together are like uh, video production in the field, so you learn how to properly operate a camera and how to properly set up lights and do sound, uh, video editing, and then there are different upgrade classes for more advanced equipment like the Canon C100 and different DSLRs and things like that. And what's so cool about this program is that um, you know, these technical skills aren't rocket science, right? Mm -hmm. So yeah. to be able to teach these people these skills and then 
you develop the sort of aesthetic sensibilities along the way and figure out like what works for you, what doesn't work for you, and um, as you do it. So like I think it's just really empowering to be able to give people these skills right off the bat and be like, don't be scared of this. Yeah, There's I'm nothing to be scared yeah. about. We could all learn this and we could all use this, and we don't have to pay someone like ten grand to like do a video <laughs> for us. Right. Yeah. Okay. Right. Yeah. And you have, do you have a deadline coming up? I believe. For submissions or uh, yes, we have an application deadline coming up um, for the Media Share program. I believe it's uh, towards the end 10th. of the month, March 10th. March tenth, March not the end of the month. It's it very is March soon, 10th. Actually. <laughs> apply, please apply. Yeah, yeah. is that yes. doable? How's the application process? It's they're definitely doable. Definitely, definitely doable. doable. All right, fair yeah. enough. So I want to thank you both for cool. joining us today. Uh, we look forward to more amazing collaborations. Uh, you're going to have to bring Samir in and just rock out for us. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Can we do that? On the show. <laughs> right. That'd be yeah. so great. <laughs> that would be really yeah. cool. Once he's perfected show. that song from my childhood. <laughs> <laughs> Did you do requests? You anyway. take requests. All right. Yeah. All right. Fair on. enough. But please uh, submit before March yeah. 10th for the uh, Brick Media Share program for nonprofits. Mm -hmm. Take and advantage. And if you got some kiddos, check out what's going on at Brooklyn Music School. Thank you.